Little by little, day by day, what's meant for you will find its way. And that's a really beautiful poetic quote there from Melinda Constant. I think it's also indicative of parts of the journey you've taken and yes. where you found yourself now. How have you found the motivation to keep getting up each day, even mm. though you get knocked down in these small ways? I believe when you are wired that way, you can't run away from it. And I believe I have a mandate from God. That is why when things get tough, I call upon him. Kibuelena like my own father. You know, when you speak to the father that you can see, I said, Ngiti Baba, uo ongenze uguti ngibenji. Anketanga mina uguti ngifunu kubai artist. So, wena, you are going to help me navigate this. You are going to give me the strength. You are going to give me the, the wisdom and the humility to continue. So I think that's how I have managed to, to stand up to Namklanj. Because like the things that I'm getting now, it's not because I'm the cleverest or I'm the most intelligent or the most creative, but they are coming at this time because this is the time when it was mandated. Mm. And it has been mandated because now it's coming in a flurry. Black is king, Black yes. Panther, and now Black Panther too. Mm. Tell us about how significant and, 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 and what that journey has felt like for you. But at God's time, no one can stop it. Yeah. When Black is King came, I was just driving, coming from somewhere, and I was told, eh, Beyonce needs you, kai, kai, kai. And I said, did you say Beyonce? <laughs> I agreed, like I didn't even know how much I was gonna earn. So you already, uh, you were involved in Beyonce yes. already, you knew exactly when who I was When I heard asking. the name, Jay, karai, li, 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 <laughs> but that time I had already done Black Panther 1. Mm. And then after that, I see myself now being approached by managers and, and agents from, from abroad. When I go and shoot Black Panther 2, they still follow me up. Mm. They're still proposing me. I have to keep do me. So keep me. I'm hoping that from that, you know, it's taking me to another level again. And I'm very you know, grateful for that. What are your dreams now and aspirations now? Because it seems like you're still dreaming yeah. of this bigger, better life that you deserve. I have big stars in my eyes. My dream is to see South Africa producing world-class stories where we have South African crew and actors doing a, 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 a sterling job. That's my dream. That's my biggest dream. The second one, is to see our country having a good union. It's on a little seg after and other unions will equip where we can come together and address issues in our industry. There's no way the second and third and fourth generation work at Lang in the industry and find it still like this. Those are my two biggest dreams. Mm. And I'd love to touch on this. I mean, you had that moment with, with Rihanna, wanting to take a picture with you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I remember that very well. You know, she she came in. I was sitting just close to her. And then a bodyguard had a picture. And I was like, yo. And my kids said, mama, who Rihanna? <laughs> <laughs> because now I didn't notice NJ at first go again. And then I said, OK. You know, when I went there, in my mind, I was like, South Africa, I'm here for you. My continent of Africa, I'm here for you. I hope from the little that I'm doing, people are gonna recognize that there are people like us who still have a lot of stories that need to be told. Mam Konichume, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. <laughs> <laughs>